Can you get rid of hardware naturally, permanently, and without depending on any pills? Yes, you can. But why haven't you so far? It's because you use antacids, and that's the wrong thing to do. Antacids for heartburn are like cakes for obesity. They make you feel good, but they aren't improving your health. Surprise? Stay with me and you'll learn what you need to do to get rid of heartburn for good while improving your health at the same time. One in three adults in USA suffers from chronic heartburn. And that means if you are at a party of nine, rest assured that three people will use their heartburn pills to survive the night. But why is it so? Is it because we are all into eating tomatoes or spicy foods? Not at all. So where does heartburn come from? When you eat, the food travels down the esophagus, a long tube which ends up in the stomach but you know that. What you might not know is that between the esophagus and the stomach, there isn't just nothingness, an empty space, but a highly specialized valve. This valve is the key to getting rid of heartburn. Let me explain why in order to stop heartburn, you need to pay attention to this valve, not the stomach acid. And here comes a big surprise how to stop heartburn. Heartburn and acid reflux is not caused by excess acid. It is caused by a leaky valve. The stomach and the esophagus are made of two very different tissues. Esophagus is sensitive to acids, stomach is not. If you drink pure vinegar, the esophagus will respond with discomfort, but not the stomach. The stomach will be very happy and won't say a thing. Stomach likes acids. Esophagus doesn't. As you see, excess acid in the stomach does not cause heartburn unless it spills into the esophagus. A tightly closed valve between the stomach and the esophagus is the key to getting rid of heartburn. A tightly closed valve prevents the spills. When the valve stays open, heartburn is practically guaranteed. But that does not mean you can forget about stomach acid completely. You still need to pay attention to stomach acid, but in a different way than your doctor told you to. Instead of lowering it, you want to increase it. Wait, what? Here comes another surprise on how to stop heartburn. The valve tightness depends on stomach acid. The valve between the stomach and the esophagus closes in response to low pH. In other words, the valve will close shut if there's lots of stomach acid, but not when there is little. What is the ideal stomach pH to keep the valve super tight? It's somewhere between three and four. That's approximately a pH of lemon juice. And here comes another surprise on how to stop heartburn. People with heartburn frequently produce too little acid to close the valve. Are you among those people? Get yourself tested. When you get heartburn, squeeze a full lemon into a half a cup of water and drink it. Wait a few minutes and see if it helps. If it does, you know the problem wasn't too much stomach acid, but actually too little. So why would you still take antacids? You see, that's a wrong thing to do. Yes, but then uh, why do doctors prescribe antacids? After all, antacids stop heartburn, don't they? It's true, they do stop heartburn, but not by closing the valve, but by neutralizing stomach acid. This way, when acid spills from the stomach back into the esophagus, you don't feel a thing. It's because whatever spills into the esophagus is no longer acidic. It is neutral, sort of like water. But then, how do you digest anything? And here comes yet another surprise for antacid users. Lowering acid for heartburn may not do you any good. Actually, it could be multiplying your health problems. Have a look. Over time, you can end up with protein deficiency, protein digestion, 
is dependent on stomach acid. Low stomach acid may get you thinning hair, brittle nails, poor wound healing, frequent infections, etc. These are some of the signs of insufficient protein. Do you have these symptoms? Besides low protein, you may end up with multiple nutrient deficiencies. Be on the lookout for low B12, calcium, or iron. Absorption of these nutrients needs lots of stomach acid. Do you have low energy, nerve tingling, heart palpitations, dry skin, muscle cramps? Maybe you're already missing a few nutrients. You can end up with chronic indigestion, not only because stomach acid starts the digestive processes, but also because stomach acid is a universal germicidal. Stomach acid neutralizes bacteria, viruses, and fungi so that they don't inhabit your intestines. Stomach acid can prevent foodborne infections and small intestine bacteria overgrowth, known as SIBO. Pathogens in the gut are a major source of chronic gut problems. Bloating after meals is a very common sign of gut in trouble. And now, are you ready for one more surprise? Stomach bloating isn't something you should be dismissing or tolerating because bloating and heart disease are linked. How? You want to know? Subscribe not to miss that video. And see you next time.